Welcome to another installment of Outside the Ring. I, it's still weird with you over the phone. <laughs> Very outside weird. the restricted area. That's Out, right. Outside uh, the area code. Outside, yeah, outside the area code. There you go. I am the one, the only, on the phone, Jason. Murphy! Yeah, baby! I got a call waiting! <laughs> and, and you're not in a hotel Long anymore time. now, are you? No? You're not in a hotel anymore now, are you? No, I am actually in my apartment. Oh, okay. So, and, it's still, uh, so you still got neighbors that'll hear Chris Jericho well, yelling right out. I'm not in it. Yeah, well, right now I'm not in an apartment. I'm at my new job. But, yeah, ah. I'm, I'm, I'm in an apartment. Yes, I have an apartment building. So, yeah, so, he, uh, yeah, so he's, he's not staying at the at the Red Roof Inn anymore? No, I'm actually <laughs> at another – I'm at a, uh, a radio station, but uh, I am in a different studio than you are. Yes. And, by the way, you are Troy Stone Cold. Uh, it's been a while since we've done this. <laughs> Austin. It's just a minute. There you go. It's been just a minute. Oh well, God! This is going to be fun. No because, show for two uh, weeks. Big... No show for two weeks because no. we had so much crap going on. But we're yeah. back. We're I can't I can't yep. say we're better than ever because we're about it. We're, 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 uh, we're, we're about as we're about as good as Raw is, <laughs> and that yeah, ain't that that's great not anymore. <laughs> that's not very good. So do, Let's do, see. Our outside the ring, uh, outside the ring number one is us on Twitter. Yes. Outside the ring Facebook. Yes. Uh, just like us on there, please. And then our email, Troy. Outside the ring 316 at gmail.com. Been, been light on go, the emails yeah. lately. Yeah, we, uh, of course, we've been light. Only because our shows have been here and there. I mean, yeah. our last recorded show. Last I recorded show was two weeks, two weeks ago. ago. And, it, and of course, it was, you know, you were moving in. I was sick last week. Yeah, it was, it's been a, it's been kind of rough here and there, but we're getting through it. It's just been it's been nuts. Yeah, uh, we're gonna try to do these. Every and it's 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 it, it, it's hard it's hard to 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 do a show like this when you're you know a quarter of the way across yeah. the country. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's a uh, very but, different. You know. Yeah, it's very different. But we're gonna try our best to do these every week. It's sometimes it's hard, but. We have a lot to say about Raw. We're going to get to Raw in Actually, just a second. I really don't have much to say about Raw, other than what we've been saying I about didn't it watch for the Raw. My cable was uh, was just put in this morning, so I didn't watch Raw. Uh, it's going to be a lot yeah, of you on this show. It, it, the only what what I have to say about Raw is what we've been saying for like the past two months. It's well, it wasn't be good. The same thing. It what? But first. We got to get this out of the way. Yes. It's been two weeks. Drum roll. Here we go. Brrr. It is now time. Brrr. Wow, that's loud through my phone. Holy crap. Um, What's loud? So I don't have the headlines. I toss it to you at this point. Yes. This is our new format. Is, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm caretaker of the headlines now. Um, go for it. So... Uh, first one I have is the apparently Raw had a ratings boost, and the title of the the thing here is Vince McMahon equals ratings. Monday's three hour well, edition. Probably because everybody wanted to see him get you know Johnny Big Johnny get fired. Exactly. Uh, Monday's three hour edition of WWE Raw scored a 3.2 rating, with 4,622,000 viewers for the three hours that the show aired. Uh, the show scored a 3.45 rating and a 4,981,000 viewers during its usual time slot. This is way up from the last few weeks. Uh, the show hours did a 2.73 for the first, a 3.34 for the second, and a 3.55 for the last. Um, no, yeah, the people... It, they can thank yeah, that, that last segment was their, their highest viewed segment, and that's simply yep. because people were tuning in to see if Johnny was going to get fired or not. Yep, pretty much. And I didn't catch like the last like twenty minutes of Raw, so I, I know Johnny well, didn't I get fired. Didn't miss much. Yeah, yeah we'll uh, get to yeah. that. Uh, uh, what else? Next top, uh, I got uh, top names praise Ziggler. Uh, Mick Foley wrote the following about Dolph Ziggler during Raw last night: "Quote another excellent match involving at hashtag heel. I think I, I think I detect some type of trend here." Paul Heyman retweeted the comment and said that he agreed. Why is Dolph Ziggler not in the main event yet? He's got these big names vouching for him, and they keep 
doing well, this. He is now. He is, he is. He is. He is now. now. Yes, but he's going up against Sheamus, and Sheamus he's is still. It, no, he's not going to win. Sheamus is still, <laughs> still uh, in his early days of his his face run. There's, I don't have a problem with Sheamus winning. I I just want it to be a good match. I don't yeah. want it to be a squash. I don't want it to be a. I don't want it to be a Daniel Bryan Sheamus match at WrestleMania. But this time, instead of like when he lost to Edge, when they had their, you know, Edge was the champ and yeah. Edge beat him, that was fine. But I didn't like the fact that Dolph Ziggler all of a sudden disappeared from that, and then all of a sudden he's got the U.S. champion. Exactly. He kind of like Christian. Christian yeah, they, was the world champ. They, they bumped you know, him up, and then they took him right back down. Yeah, had a great feud with Orton, and then after that, he was, you know, was, doing little things he was here just and there. Gone, <laughs> and then you know, yeah, and now, now he's Intercontinental Champion. And yeah, he, and appearing on TNA, same way. Yeah, and appearing on DNA, which we're gonna get. Yeah, to. we'll get to that. Um, um, I don't know. Go uh, ahead. Well, I don't know. Do you want to get to the spoilers first, or do you want to save those for last in the headlines? Well, we'll do headlines, and then we'll, we'll yeah. Okay. Um. Well. <laughs> CM Punk talks Chris Brown, everybody's favorite subject. <laughs> uh, WWE champion CM Punk appeared on the Bauer Show in Connecticut yesterday to promote last night's Raw Super Show. Punk was asked yep. about the recent Twitter feud with Chris Brown, and he said he wanted to do a charity match with all the money going to a women's shelter. Uh, when promoting Raw, Punk wasn't aware that it was a three-hour show. That's great. Let's not tell one of our biggest names that it's a three-hour show. <laughs> but, I mean... It, it, well, this this broke. It was probably what three four months ago when. Um, yeah, it was big right around WrestleMania. Yeah, right before or it, right it, after it WrestleMania. Was, yeah, and it and Punk even made a video addressing Chris Brown straight, straightforward, straight out there. He said he wants Chris Brown to get in the ring right. with him to do a charity show, and right. all the money going to a local woman's shelter. Sure. I would love to see that because I would love to see Chris Brown get his ass beat. <laughs> well, I don't think it'll ever happen. No. I don't think Chris Brown has a nutsack. No, no, he's, um, no. But I don't know. I don't know. Chris Brown, he seems to always steer away from it every time it's brought up. It, he Honestly, does. This is, this is beating on a dead horse. This was like yeah. three or four months ago. Yeah, like I mean, I, it was three or four months ago with over. this scenario. But then the whole thing with Chris Brown and Rihanna, that was, what, last year sometime? Two years. Two, two or three two, years two, two or three ago. years ago. And I, and I understand that he wants to, you know, shy away from that. That was a, a, a dark point in his career. But you, yeah. can, you can, you know, we may, we may, you know, let it slide, you know, not bring it up and all that, let it kind of fade away. But we'll never forget, Chris. That's, no. that, there, we just won't forget. You beat a woman bloody. Yeah, you don't it's hard forget to, that. Like, like CM Punk says, the only way I would ever forgive him is to honestly, he needs to go out and really, really do something. To Look, they showed him on TV when this happened. He was doing, like, you know, sanitation work. Oh, no, that bull. Service. No, what, I mean, what he, he should have done. Now, granted, I mean, he did. He actually was working decently hard compared to some celebrities that yeah. get community. Some celebrities like, oh, oh I don't know. Paris Hilton. Par yeah, Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan. But, still, they didn't beat up someone. You know? Exactly. They beat up a woman. I mean, he didn't get a drug bust or something like that. I yeah. have a big problem, you know, community or whatever. But he beat a woman. Most people, me or you, did that. We'd be in jail. Oh, but yeah. We Easily. have a four-hour show on Easily. That, so. <laughs> The fitting, yeah. at least to me, the fitting punishment to this crime would have been making Chris Brown take half of his money that he has right now and donating it to a woman's shelter, plus he serves 90 days in jail, no parole, yeah. no time off yeah. for good behavior. Yeah, I agree. I agree. What's next? It, well, that's, that, that's the end of the headlines. The next thing I got is a spoiler. Oh, it's, it, okay. it, 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 it is it is a headline, but, you know, yeah, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, blah, blah, blah. And it's really not even that big of a spoiler. Well, it kind of is. Uh, spoiler on John Laurinaitis' future on WWE TV. Uh, oh, based, on <laughs> based on local advertising in New York City, which is promoting next week's Raw at the Nassau Coliseum, John Laurinaitis will be fired at No Way Out. Laurinaitis will not be gone from WWE television, though. His role is being described as a, quote, assistant to the WWE Board of Directors. 
The way it sounds, he'll be fired from one position only to be moved to the other one. Also, adver- uh, also um, the main event, I'm guessing for No Way Out? No. Cena and Big Show? Advertising is promoting John Cena versus Big, Sh- Big Show and Laurinaitis. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. for, the sh- for the show after No Way Out. They're okay, advertising well. a handicap match of Cena versus Big Show and Laurinaitis. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The whole the, the thing is, in real life, John Laurinaitis is no longer the vice president of talent relations. This story just came out as well, and I'm sure you probably read it somewhere. Yeah. Um, Triple H is now, thank God, the executive vice president for talent relations. He hires and fires people. It's all on Triple H now. He's been training. Um, that can be and, that can be a double edged sword, honestly. It it can be, but I I rather have Triple H yes. than John Laurinaitis. Um, Triple H is a multi time champion. He knows the business. He's a good worker, and he's he's a good he's good on the mic. He's one of the best heels of all time. If he says, "Hey, this guy looks good. I want him to be a heel." I would go with Triple H just because I think he knows that part of the oh, business. Oh, now, God, yes. Uh, um, any, and again, anything is better than, oh, John Laurinaitis. So in real life, Triple H has that position. Yes. Um, J- Big Johnny is only being kept around right now, Troy, because he's a on-air character. Yeah, he's that's a, the only reason. Does he have Does character. he have any position in the company other than on-air that's character? Nothing. nothing. Maybe uh, storyline stuff. I don't think. I don't, no, I don't even think he's a part of the writing crew. Yeah. He is Triple H has been, and I'm going to use this term loosely, under the wing of Laura Knight. Yeah. <laughs> That's like you know. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, pretty much. That I mean, that don't mean nothing. I mean, Triple H probably could have taught Laura Knight is how to be the executive vice president. Hell, yeah. He's Vince McMahon's son-in-law. Really? Um, I mean. So, what is Triple H's actual title in the company? I don't even remember because it's well, not chief uh, chief operating air, officer or whatever. The, right, he's That's the, yeah, on air. He's the COO on air. Triple but, H has been going to different places and looking at talent. The recent last couple, he's a, he's now a talent he's scout there. Yeah, and now he's finally the executive vice president. Um, so basically, Laurinaitis might get a little taste of his own medicine after this whole storyline plays out. I mean, will they keep him even around? I don't know. Yeah. Um, I would hope not, uh, which we're going to get to Raw here. Is there any other spoilers, really, other than um, that? No spoilers, but I was just going, uh, just kind of browsing through NoDQ.com, and I came across one that kind of piqued my interest. Uh, TNA uh, star posts cryptic message, possibly returning to WWE. Uh, TNA wrestler Matt Morgan posted a a cryptic reply to a Twitter question Tuesday. He was asked whether he was returning to WWE. Morgan was asked, quote, is it true you're going back to WWE? I wouldn't blame you because they ain't. Because why ain't you been champ three times by now at (laughs) TNA? Uh, Morgan replied, tick tock. So like his time is running out in TNA? Well, uh Matt Morgan is a beast. He, he is. is an animal. And he WWE, is a big guy. I, I have said it ever since Matt Morgan debuted in TNA. You WWE have, have. lost out when they let him go. He is. He is a physical. He, I mean, he is a you, physical you, monster, and he's not. You know how Vince is clay monster. Oh, he's not a fat big guy. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm not making fun of fat big guys, a.k.a. Vader, who was on Raw. Oh, yeah. Night. That's about the only um, noteworthy thing from Raw. And I popped, and I cheap popped for him yeah. because it was Vader. But Vince has been bringing in these guys like Viscera and and uh, Vader and, and, of course, the recent one, Brodus Clay. Yeah. Matt Morgan is more like Kane. Undertaker. Oh, Matt Morgan. Uh, well, Matt Morgan is more like that, but he's more of a physical specimen. I mean, they don't call him right. the, the DNA of TNA for nothing. Right. He is a. What I'm he, saying is, he is a taller and not fat big guy. Yeah, he's he is a tall, slender, he, athletic. He, he's like guy. a younger Undertaker because you know Undertaker's kind of, kind of, kind of letting himself go nowadays. Yeah. But you see what, or Kane when he was really young, when he first debuted, yeah. those guys were just big, slender guys. And yeah, they can't do all the top rope stuff, but Matt Morgan can do a lot of the top rope stuff. Matt yeah. Morgan has a good work ethic yep. and a good ring skill. Um, 
Will they use him right this time in WWE? I don't uh, know. I, who knows? They've already <laughs> dropped the ball on Tensai, but... Oh, I give him... I, I give Tensai about three more months, and he'll be strictly on Superstars. Yep. Oh, oh God, yeah. I mean, you go from fighting Cena to losing and jobbing against Cena, and he jobbed to Sheamus last night. I mean, nothing wrong with jobbing to those two, because those are two big names, yeah. but the guy had so much buildup, and... He's, the guys he squashed were nobodies. I mean, you know, it's just like Ryback. Ryback yep. is, I, I, okay, I know he looks like Goldberg, but I like the way that this guy is kind of being built up in a way. Yeah. Because he's, he can get this streak going. He's starting out with guys that are horrible wrestlers. Yeah. And, and by the way, horrible wrestling names. Um, oh, God. And eventually just keep building him up and building him up and building and then eventually when he wins like hell, build him up for a year before you even put him against um a, a, a world champion. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean that's what just they did. That's What's what they did with, with Brodus Clay, but again Brodus Clay isn't right. crap. Right. It's, I mean Ryback he is way more fun to watch than Oh, Brodus yeah. Clay. Yeah. He Definitely goes, he picks up guys, and yeah, I know they're under. He's pounds, he's like so Goldberg. Bad. You go, he comes out yeah. there. You know he's going to win, but you right. can't help but watch. It's like right. a, it's almost like he a train works. wreck. It's almost yeah. like a train wreck, but it's not you know in a bad way this time. Yeah, I mean he is what he is. You know, um, I like that. I, I I think I like his whole character. You know, Raw was three hours last night, and yeah. I didn't watch it. I skimmed through it on YouTube this morning, and for the most part, I skipped a lot. There was nothing noteworthy. Uh, well, the best match was Ziggler, uh, Cali. He wasn't in it long, thank God. Christian, I, I even call. I even Jack called Black. it on our uh, our Facebook. Cali was going to be the first one out. Why does WWE keep putting him in these matches? We know he's not going to win. I don't know. I don't know. He is the most horrific worker in uh, the company. Uh, period. End of discussion. The Ugh. guy is a he is a joke, a joke. Um, that match was decent. I'm glad Ziggler went over. Yes. I I really hope they treat Dolph now as a as a main event guy. Now, a- I did hear this, and I don't know if you've heard the rumors. Uh, speaking of rumors, this really isn't a spoiler. Some people know about it. Ric Flair. I said this two weeks ago. He, at the time, wanted out of his TNA contract. Ric Flair, from what I know, has left the company and is working yeah. again with WWE, and they're trying to figure out if he they want to bring him back on TV. I heard a rumor, and this is a rumor, that Ric Flair is on his way back to be the manager of one Dolph Ziggler. Oh, my God. And, get this, and they're going to be in a group and they're going to have a bodyguard. The bodyguard is going to be one Mason Ryan. Ooh. That is a rumor. Um, almost like Ziggler is going to say, hey, I've had enough of Vicky. I've had enough of Swagger. I need to upgrade. Hmm, who can I upgrade to? How about the greatest world champion ever in so- Ric Flair? It sounds like Evolution 2.0. It is. Now, if they can get Batista back in time for this, I, don't, dude, I don't no, think so. No. I think Mason Ryan would work. Yeah, don't, no, um, you don't, don't put Batista and Mason Ryan in the same group. You wouldn't be able to tell them apart. No, no, oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I, I think if you can't get Batista, you go, you, you got Mason Ryan, who, who is not a horrible worker. I don't, I haven't seen enough of him. We went to Raw, and he worked a pretty damn good match with Ziggler. With Ziggler, yeah. Um, He's a big, high-powered guy, and he would be perfect in a bodyguard-type role, like he was with CM Punk. Well, yeah, how do you, that's the, the same Nets. way Batista came in. He was the bodyguard for Reverend Devon. Yeah, yeah. keep his moveset limited. Let, let, him just, let him just be a manager, a bodyguard, like Diesel was with Shawn Michaels. Ric Flair could be the mouthpiece of that group with like, Ziggler. Like Jimmy Hart was have, with the Hart Foundation? Exactly, and have Ziggler... Finally, be a world champion. It worked with Triple H. It, it was a great thing. Yep. With Flair and Triple H. It worked with tri- team, it, like it worked mentioned. with Triple H. It worked with Evolution. It worked with Randy yeah. Orton. Yes. Look absolutely. where Orton is nowadays. Yeah. Well, right now he's sitting. Wait, at home well, yeah. The, right uh, now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. True. Which is another 
blemish to Randy's. Uh, yeah, I thought it, Randy was actually back on the on the good track. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. That's a whole other yeah. issue. I don't think they'll ever fire Randy Orton. By, by no. I, it would be too. If Randy Orton went to TNA, watch I don't. Out. I really don't know if TNA could afford Orton. No, I don't think they could. It would be huge for TNA to get oh, a guy yeah. like Randy Orton. Oh yeah, uh, away from WWE. But I think Randy has really learned. The, from what I heard on the internet, Randy has really learned his lesson this time. Yeah. And from what I also heard, it was a stupid mistake. He wasn't thinking, just like his other recent uh, blemishes. Yeah. Um, I thought this was his third strike, but I guess I was wrong. It's, I, it's yeah, it's his second because it's only a sixty-day suspension this time, but. Yeah, and, and you know, and, and and hell, let's be honest, Randy really wasn't doing much anyways. They need to go, even if they have to make him heal again. Yeah, I think they should definitely do something different with Randy this time when they bring him back. But anyway, back to Ziggler and Flair. I think it is a great idea. It is. It it, it <laughs> again. It's I mean, Evolution two point oh. Multiple times we we've said it. The Vicky thing has ran its course. Oh, it ran its course. A year ago. Yeah. And this way, Ziggler's still heel. I mean, Flair is the, one of the greatest oh. heels along with oh. Triple H. Easily. I mean, Easily. perfect. Yeah. I think that's what you need to do because... I'm just trying to think of other people no. that could go in this group with them. You have Z- um, Ziggler, Flair, Mason Ryan right. as the mouthpiece. As the bodyguard. The big, the or, yeah, as the bodyguard. I'm you need maybe another one guy that... You can insert multiple people possibly in that one Co- role. Cody, possibly? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, possibly Cody. Although I think Cody is almost the same level with Ziggler. Maybe a little yeah. a little behind. But he is he's kind of perking up. Maybe there maybe even position. maybe even keep Dolph with swagger, because I mean, you know, you got uh, yeah. You got the show off with Dolph. You've got the mouthpiece with Flair. You've got the muscle with with Mason Ryan. Right. And then with Swagger, you'd have the technical stuff. You could have him just be an Intercontinental Champ or a Ex- US exactly champ, whatever. Yeah, I keep him there. I think it would be the absolute perfect thing to do. Um, God, I wish Mister Perfect was still alive. Oh, he would that be would another be... person you could yeah. put in that position. Oh, because I mean, if you look at Ziggler, he is. Mr. Perfect. Yeah. Kurt Eddie. Um, but I, we'll see what they go. As far as Raw, uh, you, like you said with, with Vader, I found out from my dad that Vader was on Raw last night. And I, I lost I mean, it. I had a YouTube. He, it, it was hilarious. He did still have it, but I could tell that the you know yeah. the Mastodon was getting kind of flabby. Yeah. Because he was yeah. sh- shaking his uh, arms, and he, he's got the, the, the whole bye-bye arms going on and wiggling uh, back and uh, forth. But it was what it was. It was a nostalgic moment. It was. And, it, yeah, and, and I will give WWE this. It was different. Yes. I no, mean, and we got to see different. Heath Slater get his ass kicked. Yeah, like we haven't seen that before. <laughs> um, here's the thing, though. We, what I would do with that, I would just have Heath Slater call out a legend, by the way, just every week. You know, and have somebody, as we get closer to Raw. Didn't somebody do that in though, TNA? Uh, yeah, but who, who it did that? off that well. Who did that? I can't though? remember. Oh, was there Eric Young? No, it wasn't Eric Young. It wasn't? Whereas in my mind, it was Jay Lethal. It was either Jay Lethal or Eric Young. I can't remember the two. I don't yeah, because that was when he was in his, uh, his macho man I think gimmick. You're right. I think you're right. Um, but either way, uh, you know... <laughs> It was different. The whole thing with Vader was different. The problem I have with WWE right now is it is the same garbage every week. Yep. And a lot of people are starting to say, is it the talent? Is it the fact that, uh, you know, that they just don't have the talent to, to do this anymore? Yeah. Um, they just don't have the, the right guys like they did in the Attitude Era. Yeah. Um, even in the years when, in the 2000s when you had Rock and Triple H and mm-hmm. you had uh, that whole thing, um, they don't have that talent on an everyday basis anymore. I mean, here's the biggest thing. To fix WWE, the first thing I would do, Troy, is get rid of the, the, the brand extension. Yes. The raw it's basically gone anyway. It ba- 
basically is, and if you've been watching SmackDown, CM Punk is on the show almost every week now. Yep. Um, a lot of the guys, I don't even know why they they keep saying the Raw SmackDown Super Show. Just just end it. Last night would have been the perfect night to do it. Yep. Vince is coming back. He could have had a big announcement other than the whole thing with Johnny and just ended it. I don't think um, they want to end it simply because they use SmackDown as a proving ground for Raw. And that's the problem. And um, also, you know, each show has their own belts, and they can make replicas of those yeah. belts and sell them and get yeah. money. Yeah, and that's you know, the Vince, problem. Vince been being all about for the money. How long? Huh? Uh, we've been saying for how long we want to minimize the belts. We want yeah. a world champ. We want a mid card champ and a tag champ. You know, if you want to bring the hardcore belt back as a funny championship, whatever. Well, that's fine. You know, I've heard that on the thousandth ep- episode, they're actually yeah. going to bring the cruiserweight title back. Yeah, I, those those are just rumors. I, nothing's ironclad yet. I just heard that and that's somewhere. Fine. Even if you had like, well, uh, yeah, you bring back the belt. bring back the cruiserweight title. You give these younger guys like Heath Slater yeah. something to go for. Or Sin Cara, exactly. I mean, yeah, you know, you got a bunch of guys like that. Hell, I, you know, great idea. If Rey Mysterio ever comes back this century, oh god, if have he him, uh, have him in the cruiserweight division, he he, was one of the best cruiserweights. Yeah, but they they know that that's a that's almost a death sentence because you know <laughs> Ray Ray is so over. You put him in the cruiserweight division, and he can only go for the cruiserweight title. Yeah, people will still get behind him, but nowhere yeah. near as many if he was going for the world no. heavyweight title. Although I would be happy because he'd be having way better matches with guys that work his style. Uh, they do work his style, but Ray has gotten sloppy over the he's years. Gotten bigger. He's got he's gotten yeah. Bigger. He's he's gotten a little bit more fluffy, and he yeah. and I mean his knees and just you know he's he's getting old. Just yeah, plain and he simple. He's, he's just of... getting old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, trust um, me, I had that feeling here a few days ago. <laughs> I, yeah, I still don't know where Ray Mysterio is, by the way. Uh, he's, it's been a while. I heard that he re-injured his knee or something. Mm, mm. Man, it might be calling it quits. Uh, it's about that time. Yeah, it, it, um, it honestly is. I say... Let him come back. Let him work all the way through until next year's WrestleMania, and make next year's WrestleMania his last match. Yep, I make, agree. Let I, let yeah. next year's WrestleMania be that Rey Mysterio Sin Cara match. Let it be. That's let, the one everyone wants build, to see. Build it. Build it up. Let Rey go out there and do what he did best in WCW. Let Sin Cara go out there and do what he did best in Mexico. Just yep. let I them agree. go for like a solid twenty minutes to a half an hour. I agree. I, I think they would put on a damn good match. Put too. on a luchador clinic out there. <laughs> yeah, make my Tene smile. Exactly. <laughs> um, you know, other than that, on Raw, uh, I mean, stand out. Uh, Tensai attacked Sakamoto, and that's about it. Yeah, Tensai yeah, beat the hell out of Sakamoto, Ten- so I guess that's done. T- Ten- uh, Sakamoto's uh, Ten- going to be picking up uh, food stamps. Yeah, uh, Tensai lost again to Sheamus. Right, right. Uh, what else? Um, um, was Miz oh, on Raw? Miz was not on Raw. I have not seen Miz that all, at, at, at all, hardly at all. Go figure. I don't, oh, I don't know if he's on SmackDown, because I don't watch SmackDown that much. I have not seen Miz. The last time I saw Miz was he got an RKO. Yeah. From Randy. Um, and then that was it. And that was last week, I think. Yeah. And that's another thing. You know, Randy's hurt, or Randy's on the sideline right now. Del Rio is uh, apparently hurt again. Yeah. Uh, Ray Mysterio, we mentioned him, and he's out. Triple H and Undertaker, they're pretty much done. Yeah. Sean's retired. Rock's back in Hollywood. Where's I the mean, Miz? The talent Where? is not good right now. <laughs> exactly. I mean, they're, yeah, they're, they're down a lot of guys. Yeah, they're building up Daniel Bryan. They're building up Sheamus and Dolph. But Brock you Lesnar's off WWE TV right exactly. now at this moment. I mean, <clears> yeah, <throat> I mean, you know, it is what it is. I mean, uh, Miz was in line to be, you know, the next guy, the guy. Yeah, you would think. Well, yeah, that, that's what, that, 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 that's that's what I know? want to think. Yeah, they dropped the ball with Miz. The last um, thing I remember with Miz was him losing to Brodus Clay. No. It's bad memories for me, but that's honestly the last thing I remember him doing. 
Um, and that was at the pre-show for the last pay-per-view. And the they pre- seemed to be giving... Or no, that was the pre-show did. for the pay-per-view before that. Because the last pay-per-view yeah, pre-show yeah. was Ryder and Kane, and this upcoming yeah. pay-per-view pre-show is Brodus Clay and David Otunga. Uh, another reason to not watch the pre-show. Exactly. Um, I don't care if it is free. You need to pay me to watch yeah, that pretty, crap. No, pretty much. Um, another thing is, you know, they seem to be maybe pushing Kofi Kingston a little bit now. Yeah. Uh, he just has no luck. And, the poor guy has no luck with tag partners. Exactly. Speaking of Kofi and his tag partner, I'm sorry, but how does Big Show keep sneaking up on these people? <laughs> He's the, 500 pounds. He's five, a giant. 500 pounds, seven foot tall, and he's sneaking up on you? Come on. Yeah. I mean, look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> and last yeah. last night, that punch he gave to Truth didn't look like it hurt at all. Truth did not well, sell that punch at to, all. Uh, and the punch he gave to Vince, yeah, it was, it was horrible. Yeah, see, that's I mean, what I missed. I didn't see him punch Vince. It was horrible. Vince did not. Well, Vince sold it like a boss, but Big Show did not deliver the yeah, there, punch. And very there was well. also another a story that said, uh, um, either at uh, at the pay per view or next Monday on Raw, but Big Show may still face disciplinary actions, even though Vince can't fire him because of his oh, ironclad contract. Truthfully, Vince can fire him. Yeah. But, uh, well, we all know that we all know that this ironclad contract thing is all in the story, but still. <laughs> oh, of course, Big Show has definitely not got an ironclad. And I like the fact that Vince basically called Big Show old and disappointing and all that. Yeah. Good way to show your pay per view, Vince. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, we all know Cena probably well maybe will win. I, I'm almost guaranteeing it, Cena's going to win. Uh, he's about. He about I mean, has to. I understand. Well, here's the thing why I say that. Vince, I think for now, we all know he is going to fire Laurinaitis at this pay-per-view. Yeah. And Vince also said that if Cena won, he, you know, Laurinaitis would be fired. Yeah. That's the only reason I'm thinking, I'm thinking Cena's going to win this. Yeah. I don't know for sure. Um, but they, we went through Raw. Before we end the show, I wanted to add a couple things. Oh, wait, we, first, did, we, didn't, all, we didn't touch on the... Uh... The um uh, was there something else? Ah, what was it? Oh, CM Punk teaming up with AJ. Oh, okay. Against um, Daniel Daniel, Daniel Bryan and uh, AJ or no Kane? Yeah, it's Kane. Daniel Bryan and Kane versus CM Punk and AJ. Oh. AJ, the yeah. ninety-five pound nerdy girl. <laughs> Not Styles. No, no. Oh God, if it was AJ Styles, that. Kane would have been the odd man out there. No kidding. Let AJ Styles, CM Punk, and Daniel Bryan go at it for a half an hour. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. Um, the match was, yeah, it was what it was. Yeah, the match was, eh, and the ending was not... Interesting. The, it was, the it was interesting. The yeah. got a big red rocket in his pants. Ew. AJ pretty much, well, I'm just saying, AJ pretty much... AJ AJ killed him with kindness, basically. Yeah, Kane didn't know what to do. She she started skipping around him, like doing you know, like all around the yeah. mulberry bush crap, and then just weird jumps up, wraps her legs around his waist, and just plants a big old kiss on him. Yep. And he Kane like looked like a boss. <laughs> and and Kane <laughs> looked that. Kane totally looked kissed, at, by the way. Kane looked at her like what the hell was that? Yeah, he didn't know what to think. He did. He had no clue. No, nah, because he, he's not. Um, he's not used to that. He's always used to people being afraid of him. Yeah, that was uh, very, very weird. Well, who are you picking this? Well, let, well let's do this. Let's uh, let's save our predictions for No Way Out because that's just something. I, yeah, I don't even know the card. The well, the if full you look card. that up while you're looking that up. I will uh, I will lead us into our next segue because I want to close the show this week uh, with that. I want to uh, I want to hit on the uh, the match card and then we'll do predictions. Um, okay. What did you think before, while you're doing that? What did you think of Christian Cage in TNA? I mean, we know here's the thing: Christian Cage was there because Ric Flair was at the Hall of Fame for the WWE. Yeah. It was a trade off. We talked about it uh, while I was actually still there in the studio. A while back, um, they owed TNA, WWE owned TNA, a superstar for one night. Yeah. They were going to send Cena 
<laughs> they were going to send the big guns, but they yeah. said, well, TNA was like, well, let's have Christian because he used to work here. Yeah. Um, they could have maybe got Booker T or, or one of the other former TNA guys. Uh-huh. Um, I thought Christian handled himself well, but you told me before the show that Dixie Carter... She she filed, filed a lawsuit. Yeah, she filed some kind of a lawsuit. I didn't really read it, but it it basically says that they can't do that anymore. WWE cannot take wrestlers, like former wrestlers, from TNA and let them appear at their events like Flair did at the Hall of Fame. Twice, hilarious. mind you. He did it twice, mind you. Yeah. Yeah, hilarious to me that Vince wasn't the one that did this lawsuit. Vince yeah. is usually pretty anal about this kind of stuff. That's well, because um, Vince doesn't see TNA as competition, which they're not. Ex- right, right, they're not. They're. Uh, although I will say, from what everyone says, and from what I heard, Slammiversary was decent. It was actually not that bad. Which, yeah. You know, for TNA, not bad means, hey, that was all right. <laughs> you know, yeah, well. the matches were pretty good. The work was excellent. Uh, and we've said it a thousand times. The workers in TNA are phenomenal. Oh, g- if uh, w- yeah, w- no, w- no, no pun intended there for AJ Styles. But no, sh- if, if WWE had AJ, Samoa Joe, um, you know, guys like that. Yeah. Uh, the Motor City Machine Christopher guns, Daniels. Well, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Christopher Daniels. Those guys. Yeah, Bobby um, Roode, James Angle Storm. Again. Bobby Roode, yeah. Um, you know, those guys in WWE, oh, God. I don't think we would be having a problem with WWE right now. No. Because um, they wouldn't know what to do with those guys. WWE's problem is they got guys like Santino, and they got guys like Brodus Clay. Oh, yeah, there's another like, match there's the- we, we, we missed on, didn't miss much. Oh. Santino, yeah, there you go. Santino and... Uh, uh, Layla. Layla versus Beth and Ricardo Rodriguez. Ricardo and Beth actually won somehow. Yeah, the match was pointless. It and, was. You know, walking Time around filler. with a championship. Let me let me let me let me let me give you a little history lesson on the championship, the United States Championship. You want to hear some of the guys that held that belt? Oh God! Bret Hart, Ricky Steamboat, uh, Macho Man Randy Savage, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Rick Flair and now Rusty Rose and now Santino yeah. has it. Yeah. Santino. Yeah. Yes. Who can't work. Layla outperformed Santino with a move set last night. I mean, come on. There, there's an issue here. I don't guys. I don't like Layla that much, but yeah, she did definitely outperform. Layla has improved. I don't know if she works with Maybe Michelle McCool or someone over while she was hurt on a move set. Her move set has gotten at least decent. She is better than Kelly Kelly. Oh by God, she's all. better than Kelly Kelly. Any. She's better than Eve. Yeah, I mean her move set is improving. She she has a, I don't know. Her work ethic is I guess good. I mean it's just not excellent. It's yeah. not Beth Phoenix Natty, um, but it's it if she continues to work, you never know. Yeah, uh, but the point is with Santino, he he's horrible and he's not funny anymore. No. Once in a while, he'll make me laugh. Once um, in a while, I might get a slight chuckle out of him, but that's about yeah, it. But it's, it's the same garbage. Yeah, um, I'd rather see Ryder as the U.S. champion, uh, a guy that really oh, dropped the ball. Yeah, off. I don't know if you have been paying attention to uh, the WWE Download, the show hosted by Dolph Ziggler. Right, it's on YouTube, but um, apparently they're actually thinking about having Ryder defend his stupid internet championship against Ziggler. <laughs> well, at a pay per view, that's a downgrade for Dolph because Dolph, hopefully, like we said with the whole Flair thing, would be upgraded by oh, then. So I don't want God. To see that I happen. hope that happens. <laughs> okay, I, fi- um, I I did find the card for the pay per view. Okay. Okay. Uh, first up, let's, we have uh, yeah. Let's. Uh, should we cue the music here, or should we do our thing, uh, our, our results here first? Um, I'd say we do the predictions, and we'll then hit okay. the music. All right. Um, first match. Okay, first match. The No Way Out pre-show match. No Tonga versus Clay. I don't care. Clay. Clay. Clay yeah. Okay, Let's WWE Intercontinental title match. Cody Rhodes versus Christian. Uh, 
All right, Christian's going to win. I'm going to say Christian's going to win simply because he hasn't had the title for that long, and Rhodes doesn't need right. that title. This is no. his rematch clause. Christian, for that matter. Really? I don't even know why we're this, having a few with this, you know. Yeah, this is, this is Cody Rhodes' rematch against Christian. This yeah, is it for Cody Rhodes unless he wins it. Let him lose right. and start working him towards the World Heavyweight Championship. Speaking of that, that is our next match. Sheamus versus Dolph uh, Ziggler for the World Heavyweight title. Uh, Sheamus. I'm going to say Sheamus, too, because Ziggler is getting there, but you need to build him up more. Because, I mean, he uh, just... Don't let him get... Keep him on SmackDown. Don't let him get out of this title picture. Exactly. Don't do it. Just let him be a top heel on SmackDown exactly. and go after Sheamus. Yep. And I think it'll be a good match. I think both guys are going to work hard. I think it's going to be a good match. Oh, yeah. Uh, the WWE title match, triple threat, Daniel Bryan versus Kane versus CM Punk. I, Punk has had the belt for a long time. Yeah. Since Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Punk wins. I'm not, I think I'm it's saying, coming soon to an end, though. I'm not going to say somebody's going to win, but I'm saying Kane will not win. Let's just put it at that. I'm, yeah, I I'm, think AJ is going to be involved. Oh, definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm just, who. I am torn between Daniel Bryan and Punk. I don't know which one is going to win. I'm just going to yeah. go. I'm just going to take the safe route and say Kane will not win. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with Punk. I, but I think again, I think his title reign's coming to an end. Yeah, soon. he's had the belt but, and, game, and, all, which and I love. But, they, uh. they, and they've taken the spotlight off of Punk and put it on. This whole Laura Cena feud, which is so stupid. They're trying stupid. to make this John Cena, John Laura thing the new Austin McMahon. It ain't working. Which is stupid because it should have been Punk and Laura Yep. But either way. Yeah. And, and the last match, the main event, the Steel Cage match, oh. Big Show versus John Cena with Vince McMahon and John Laura at ringside. If Big Show loses, Laura is fired. I think Cena wins. Um, I think because of that stipulation, I don't know. I think Cena will crawl out of the cage, something like that. I don't think they're going to have Big Show get pinned. That would be stupid. You yeah. build Big Show back up. This is the best run Big Show has been on oh, yeah. in a long time. Oh yeah, this is I the mean, first time he hasn't been comic relief for somebody. Which I love. I love the fact that they actually did something with a guy that's seven foot tall, five hundred pounds, exactly. and strong as a mother. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, I'm glad they're doing something with Big Show. He's been a loyal employee, kind of like Mark Henry. He had yep. a Mark Henry. Where is Mark Henry anyway? For, that's a good question. I don't know. Again, uh, he might be on SmackDown, but I don't watch SmackDown. I don't see Big. I don't have it. I think actually, Mark Henry was training for the Olympics. Ah. He was actually training for the strongest man competition. At the okay. Olympics. Um, okay. Weightlifting. Maybe maybe him and um, maybe him and Kurt Angle are training together for the Olympics. <laughs> I don't know if I that's still don't, 100% true. I still don't know but, what Kurt Angle's thinking, thinking he can get on the Olympics team at his age with his problems yeah, that he well, has. Well, supposedly he, he drew out of that uh, yeah. because of his age. So, yeah, you called yeah, him. I'm, um, yeah, big, big Show's losing. Yeah, This, I, this I match so. honestly does not need to be the main event because that's how they're playing it out here with this card. Triple H, by the way, is supposed to also be at Yeah, he, uh, sa- no he way says uh, Triple Sunday. H will appear at No Way Out for the first time after being served a lawsuit by Brock Lesnar, and he will address his future in Lesnar. I so. think that Triple H being there is just a way to get more buys because this card sucks. Yeah, <laughs> easily. I'm wondering if I'm wondering if Brock and or Heyman are going to be at No Way Out to they might be, confront Triple um, H. They might be. I can't see Triple H just going out and then saying something and leaving. Yeah. There's going to be an altercation with somebody. The card is not the greatest. Um, they need buys. That's yeah. why they announced Triple H is going to be there. It's just like, hey, here's The Rock. He's going to be at Survivor Series. Guess what we what we did when we found that out? We went to B-Dubs and watched Survivor Series. Yep. You know, It equals more buys. Exactly. Uh, when you have a, a, a tease like that. <laughs> Overall... If I re- I would not recommend going and paying what forty or fifty bucks for this. No. You try to watch it for no. free. Yeah, go to your um, go to your sports bar. Go over to a friend's house that ordered it. Yeah, just, unless you just, have like twenty friends that want to get together and yeah. order in your board. Okay, yeah, don't maybe. pay full price for this. You know, get get some no. buddies together. You know, have them chip yeah. in for it. Have a party. Yeah, drink, some be drink some beer. Drink some beer. Get now, drunk. Don't remember the pay per view. 
<laughs> yeah. And with that, we are going out to who? We are. Uh, well, we talked to an extent about him today. I think we're going to go out with a little bit of Dolph Ziggler. I'm here. All right. You there know, you he, go. he's here to show, here the, to world. show the world. Bring it on. Speaking of that, I don't, I don't know if you saw it on our Facebook that I posted it, but I turned on my uh, radio in the car, and Downstate was on the radio. I did see that. And, That's freaking and, fantastic. And, and like I said, they need to get more radio time. It's a damn good band. And I'm not only saying that because they do the entrance music for The Miz, and I love The Miz. Right. It, but it is good band. No, they're good. They're yeah. very good. Yeah, I've heard their, their uh, so, CDs, and they're really good. So so we'll see what happens. No way out. Eh. We'll, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll hopefully give a good review next week. Yeah. And say, hey, if this pay-per-view turns out good, I'll be the first to come on here and say, welcome to Outside the Ring. I was wrong. Exa- <laughs> yep. yep. Um, speaking of which, my name is the one, the only, Jason. Hey, yeah, buddy, buddy. Don't order this pay-per-view. <laughs> Alongside the one, the only, where the hell is Miz? Troy Stone Cold. I want to know the same damn thing. Austin. <laughs> so, we uh, will uh, hopefully be back next Tuesday with another show. So, by Wednesday, hopefully, it'll be up. Follow us on Twitter, Outside the Ring number one, Facebook, uh, Outside the Ring, or email Troy. Outside the Ring 316 at gmail.com. We will see you next week. Outside hopefully, the next week, barring all stuff. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Deuces. Don't take my line. Deuces. Ha.